Good morning. This is Jason Dean coming live at you again for another Film Fanatic show. It is uh, Wednesday at 11.08 already. So, yep, hope everyone's doing good. We're on the verge of, I, I guess, getting a pretty big storm here in, uh, well, springtime, technically. We're a few weeks into spring, so uh, it happens. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing good. I've been late lately with my videos i've been doing shows on my recent purchases to uh, goodwill i got a pretty good stack of movies and i was really really excited i got a bunch of new blu-rays a few dvds but mostly blu-rays i try to make it a point to to try to buy only uh blu-rays i i'm at a point now with my collection i've been buying a lot of movies especially Late last year and then this year, I buy more movies than than I than I than I have in the past. I used to break it up a little bit more and like every few months. Now it's like I usually go twice, at least twice a month or so, to get a big, you know, uh, significant haul of movies to buy a significant haul of movies. So it's been great in a lot of ways. But the one thing is I'm starting to run out of uh, space, shelf space, so I don't really have any more. space. Uh, room for to actually store my movies so it's it's kind of a cluster f as far as that goes but i'm trying to clean it up but you know my obsession with movies outweighs or outrides my rational part of my brain so uh, that's just how it is but hey it could be a lot worse so today's show is on a movie that i got that i had seen um i saw it many 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 years ago when i was a kid and i've actually seen it in the shops i saw it and first i'm not sure why i didn't buy it i kind of regret not buying it now and i've i saw it i saw a few different editions of this movie in apple moose over the last year or two and i believe it's the same movie but i was in goodwill and for whatever reason, I didn't buy it when I saw it up Bull Moose, and it was Blu-ray, and I kind of regret that, but it is a movie that I should definitely buy. But I I saw it again on my last trip to Goodwill, and they had it for, uh, it was on sale for six bucks on DVD. And it's got a few special features on here, and I was just like, well, I'm going to buy this thing. I'm not going to wait anymore. And that is the Dunwich Murder. This uh, movie came out in like 1970. Um, and this is a really great horror like exploitation movie. Every now and then when I go to Bull Moose, I mean, sorry, when I go to Goodwill, I find some... Pr really good horror movies i've gotten a couple of good combo packs and i have gotten a few exploitation movies through through there generally they mostly have more commercial hollywood films that i have bought but i have bought some really good exploitation movies there and like the real low budget old school horror movies in the b kind of movie rain uh vein and this is definitely one of them this movie stars uh sandra d dean stockwell and Ed Bagley, and I totally forgot this movie, but it's really good. It's it's a it's an occult horror movie, very much a cult uh, B B movie, exploitation movie. It's really it's kind of a sleazy movie. It uh, it it's very uh, cheesy at at times, really kind of schlocky, but it's awesome. It's it's centered on the magical book known as the necronomicon that is dean stockwell plays this occultist who is using the the necronomicon text as a as a way of like opening the gates to the ancient ones and so he is bringing this woman that he is kind of in this relationship with to eventually get her to give her give up her will and become a sacrifice to the ancient ones and this movie also has a very um it's very much like a gothic horror kind of film it's um 
it's got that classic old school flavor to it. Beautiful sets, the uh, the locations that where this movie was shot, and also the locations of where that that were built for this film are are pretty terrific. It's got great atmosphere, really great music. It's very psychedelic. I didn't realize how old this movie is too. It's 1970, but it's it's really awesome. And you know, again, it goes back, and it's the reason why. I love these, you know, old school schlocky B horror expectation movies. Is they're just they're a little bit gritty. They're a little bit. They're low budget. They're fun. They have just really great atmosphere. This movie really has awesome atmosphere. I got this for like six bucks on DVD. So super excited. I you know I do regret not buying this on Blu-ray. I will definitely buy it. At some point in Blu-ray, I've seen this movie a lot at Goodwill. I mean, at Bull Moose in my travels. But very, very cool movie. I it's been so long since I've seen this movie. It was it was like watching it for the first time. I watched it uh, a few days ago, and I've been meaning to get to to uh, to to do a show on it. The selling point for me about definitely finally buying this movie was Dean Stockwell. I'm a huge fan of Dean Stockwell. He, uh, he's in my, he was, he, he was one of my favorite characters in my favorite David Lynch movie of all time, and that is Blue Velvet. He plays such a dark and disturbing character in that movie, and he's just got such, such an amazing presence on screen. And it's easily my favorite Dean Stockwell movie. He was in a whole bunch of movies. Uh, there was another really great horror exploitation movie that he did called, uh, I believe it's Werewolf in Washington, where he plays somebody who's working in the government and he's living in Washington, D.C., and he gets bitten by a werewolf. And it's really funny. It's a, like a satire. Uh, it's got great horror elements. It's super campy. It's super cheesy. And I, uh, I did a show on that movie a while ago last year. I That was one of my purchases that I got at Opera House Video, the, the shop here in Belfast. They do these uh, kind of open house street sales of where they sell a bunch of movies. And they do it every, I don't know, it seems like they do it every five or six months. I'm, I'm looking forward to them doing it again. But I got you know, a ton of movies last time I went there. And one of those movies was A Werewolf in Washington, which I had never seen before. And again, I love Dean Stockwell, so awesome. And he he is uh, the star of the Dunwich Horror. And this this is great. This is like, it kind of has a horror, um, I should say it has like a hammer horror kind of vibe. It has a very British kind of, kind of aesthetic to it. it. It feels like, you know, you you expect almost like you expect Peter Cushing or Christopher Lee to kind of appear any any moment, but it's great. It's really really awesome. The Necronomicon is a real interesting occult book. It's it's one of the you know the most one of the most ancient texts in the occult world, and it's basically um, a book that's used to kind of summon the the ancient kind of Sumerian gods that kind of predate most or pretty much every you know civilization since the dawn of man so and it's very cool because i've never really seen well i should say the evil dead films particularly the first two with sam raimi who directed them and and the third one as well those movies are kind of centered around the necronomicon this this uh, and I haven't really seen that book explored as far as occult uh, being a topic in occult horror, but that's pretty much the centerpiece of this movie, which I thought was very well done. Again, it's 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 a it's got such great atmosphere. This movie, it's really really great, and I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to buying buying this on Blu-ray. Definitely, I definitely. Deserve to get this in my collection. The quality of this on this DVD is actually really, really good. The uh, MGM Midnight Movie Series, which they are, uh, well, MGM's a major, major studio, but they've had this 
label Midnight Movies for, for years and years, maybe 20 years. And they basically, MGM is like a major, major studio, but what the Midnight Movies series is or has been, just it's, it's really them just kind of releasing a lot of these cult exploitation horror movies. They bought a lot of the rights to a lot of these movies, um, you know, during when some of these movies came out, but then after the fact. And so they just kind of reissued them. They don't do it anymore, but I have quite a few of these series, and you usually see it right on the top, MGM Midnight Movies. And pretty much every one of these collections or movies that they put out at one point in the horror kind of B-movie exploitation world or the cult movies uh, are pretty stellar, really, really great. And uh, this movie is awesome. I highly recommend it. It's the best thing about this movie is just the the rich, uh, dark and dark uh, aesthetic and the the atmosphere. It's it's really really great. So yeah, 1970. And again, it's a movie from my you know my all time favorite decade of horror movies. It's that's my to go to period. Can't get enough of anything from the 70s. This past year or so, I've definitely been taking a deep dive and exploring movies that came before, even movies in the 60s or even so in the 50s. But I always go back to the 70s. You just can't beat it. You just can't beat it. So definitely check it out. Dunwich Mer- the Dunwich Horror starring Dean Stockwell in 1970. It's a, a killer a horror movie that came out in my favorite decade. So thanks again. And we will see you next time. Peace.